In this video, we will try to understand how to find out resultant of a parallel force system by using the graphical method. So as shown over here, we are having a parallel force system. The various forces which are acting on the system, they are shown over here. The magnitude of the forces are 400 Newton, 600 Newton, 200 Newton acting in the downward direction and 800 Newton acting in the upward direction and the distance between the forces they are given as 2 meter, 4 meter, 3 meter respectively. So this is our space diagram where we have taken the scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. Now we will use the Bowes notation to find out the to draw the vector diagram. So A, B, C, D and E, these are known as the Bowes notation and let us see how to use this effectively to draw the vector diagram as well as the polar diagram. So select some pole O as shown over here. Now the vector diagram scale we have chosen from the magnitude of the forces which are given over here. So magnitude of the forces they are 400 Newton, 600 Newton, 200 and 800 Newton. So the scale that we have chosen is 1 centimeter is equal to 200 Newton. So 400 divided by 200 that is 2 centimeter. So we can say that the 400 Newton force will be represented by 2 centimeter in the downward direction and it is lying between A and B. So let us draw a vector of 2 centimeter. Then 600 Newton force so 600 divided by 200 that is 3 centimeter it is lying between B and C so BC is the another vector of 3 centimeter that we have shown by this particular line so 1 2 and 3 centimeter that is from 2 to 5 centimeter then C to D it is representing the force of 200 Newton and 200 divided by 200 that is 1 centimeter so 1 centimeter vector is shown over here and then D to E. Now this is the important point. D to E is the force. D to E that is the 800 Newton force is represented by D to E. So 800 divided by 200 that is 4 centimeter but it is acting in the upward direction. So we have to go in the upward direction 4 centimeter. So from 6 up to 2. So we have gone in the upward direction. So A to B that is a to B it is representing 400 that is 2 centimeter then B to C it is representing 600 Newton force that is by scale it is 3 centimeter that we have already shown then C to D it is 200 Newton force that is 1 centimeter that also we have shown and D to E it is 800 Newton force and that is acting in the upward direction. So we have gone from A to B then B to C C to D and again in the upward direction from D to E. So our starting point is A and ending point is E which is coinciding with the point B. So A to E is the resultant which is acting in the downward direction and whose magnitude will be length AE that we have to measure that is nothing but 2 cm multiplied by the scale. Now join A with O then B with O, C with O, D with O and E with O. So let us draw this this is known as the polar diagram. The resultant is given by the so starting point as we have seen already it is A, ending point is E. So length AE in centimeter multiplied by scale. So length AE is nothing but length AB that is 2 centimeter. So 2 multiplied by scale is 200 Newton. So resultant is 400 Newton and it is acting in the downward direction that is from A towards E. Now we have to find out the position of that particular resultant. So let us draw a line parallel to this OA in the space of A as shown over here. So this is the line which we have drawn which is parallel to OA in the space of A. Now another line parallel to this OB in the space of B so that also we have drawn over here. Then the next line will be parallel to OC in the space of C. So that is shown over here. The another line is parallel to OD in the space of D that is also shown over here. And then the last line that 
we have drawn is parallel to OE which is nothing but parallel to OB also because B and E they are the coincident one. So our first line is this particular line and the last line is parallel to OE. Now extend this the last line and this first line. So you can see over here and they will meet at one point and this is the point of application of the resultant R and we know that the resultant is acting in the downward direction whose magnitude is 400 Newton. Now we have to find out what is the location of this resultant from this 400 Newton force. So we can measure that particular distance and that distance comes out to be nearly 11.8 centimeter as you can see over here. So in this way we can find out the magnitude and location of the resultant using the polar diagram and the funicular polygon. So the polygon which we have just drawn correct is the funicular polygon. Thank you very much for watching.